Five different receivers in this game. Open bobble. On second down, floats it up. You can see how exhausting it is to play on a defensive front against this passing attack. What it must feel like in the fourth quarter when you're still trying to get there to get to Potts, and there's a penalty flag called, and that well could be a holding call. He's been under fire somewhat here. Let's give you an idea of the strength that this young man has moving from linebacker to defensive end, throwing Marlon Wynn at 6'6", 315 pounds, just throwing him to the side. I'm sure here tonight, in the early going, than they did at any time against Harrell. On first down, Potts hit as he released. Complete. To Texas Tech receivers. That's something that Mike Leach always emphasizes. Looking downfield. A lot of time this time. And here tonight, 10-3. We've had two three and outs for him this evening. Box throws and it. Stevens to the middle, he's short of the first down. It is fourth offensive line, barking out where the defenders are. In the end zone, gets it off, intercepted. Picked off at the 12. Kendall, ball is loose. Horns have recovered it if it's called a fumble. Here, on these last couple drives, he just goes right by Marlon Wynn with speed. This is the young man that they felt could replace Brian Arakpo. He moved from linebacker to defensive end. Look at the speed and the acceleration to get right by Wynn. Charged the ball loose and the helmet loose from Taylor Potts. Field emptied out. Third consecutive pass play. Incomplete. A straight handoff to Brown, who replaces a pounding to it's Ryan Broyles. Second down and goal from the red zone. Firing in zone. Table when they started this game with Bradford. Second down and six. Jones throw and 12. And Brown. Gives up another yard, and this will be more defense has really tightened the vice. Kendall and Houston. Big advantage up front with Houston and Kendall and the rest of that defensive line against this opening to the outside using the pistol. Coming back with the run and the contain man. Game in the last two, 23. Second down at 13. Jones again hit as he releases. Right where he blitzed towards the bottom of the screen. It's exactly where Jones is able to throw it. Continuing to use the pistol, running Brown, and he is thrown for a loss by Sersky, given each year to the top defensive player in the country, Herbie. Yeah, I think there's some confusion that time. You had uh, Oklahoma's offensive line. They didn't even touch big number two. And then he's a guy that... Third down and 14. In trouble. Jones steps away from it. Only for the young quarterback, he has not turned it over. Hand off to DeMarco. He is cut off. Try just to look at Kendall close. Jones. On the move again and in a very, a very difficult situation played well. Uh-oh. Williams went airborne. Just when you compliment the young man, how many times do you see this happen? He breaks contain. Kendall got the way Aaron Williams climbs the ladder. Brent, you're right on it. I think he thinks he's just. Marco Maria cuts back. Andrew Lewis, making his 34th career start. And the tackles, Russell O'Connor on the left and Brady Bond on the right. Robinson, a threat to run, did well to get across the line. The play selection numbers right at this number one rush defense in the country. Robinson, sidestep the rush, then a pump fake to neutralize Sergio Kimball. Texas has also been the best third down defense in the country this year. Well, here's another conversion against them. Here's one to watch baseball. What a great option it is to stick with the football for a while. Robinson! Because he's missed the last five games, he probably wouldn't be able to handle more than eight to ten carries. 
Robinson on the option look, picks it back to Coast in the first quarter, 3-0 Texas. Second possession for Oklahoma State. They had the ball for 13 plays in this by the University of Houston. Second down and three. The give is to Hunter. And he is stopped immediately. Kendall Short is where they wanted to be. Robinson had to deliver, and it's intercepted by Curtis Brown. He has a lot of blockers coming with him. One man to beat. And he guy has a pick six. I'd say they're point zero one two eight better. Uh, even better than that. They have been terrific tonight. Uh, three, three pretty good players. They've done a good job here today on Kindle. Less than a half minute to go. Toasting again. 81, the junior for the Hornets made a fine defensive play. Though. Second down at nine, and Lee now going to come deep. Down the far side. game against Iowa State. Right in the back of the middle of your screen. Gideon playing center field. The middle of that Texas defensive line has been Scott Hero. They're going to throw on it. Third down in trouble. Has to throw it away. And McNeil, the H-back, actually slips out. It's actually, it's Drew Young slips out. Oh, Thomas. Back and that is the I-back. Play fake. They're going to throw on first under pressure. The opening quarter. Yeah, free play right movement in the middle of that defensive line that time, and so hello. Second down and three. Beyond the tight end goes in motion, and back slipped. And the reason why he slipped, green folks, uh oh, is all you can say. Especially when you don't block him. <laughs> if you're not going to block Sergio Kendall, he will explode into the backfield, and Halu did not have a chance to do here. Middle drain and that brings the horn fans up. Quarterback draw just to gain a couple of yards and then they the Huskers have two first downs here tonight. This is third and seven. And they still have I might add the best control room I've seen any place short of Cape Canal. And the run now is Zach Lee's and the, uh, I did a dream. 13 here. And Burkhead, Gillian is slotted to the right, and Lee, from his own end zone, drops it off the middle. McElroy, back to pass for the first time, shakes off, now he's sacked on the 20-yard line. And he has to be able to do in this football game is come clear and be able to get back into the face, not only a McElroy and passing down. They spread the field here after the 18-yard Ingram run. McElroy in trouble and sacked again. The offensive is going to bring pressure, but then he's going to show a different look. They're just trying to create some confusion. It's a great job with his own pressure, a look they've not shown a lot of this year. And on the left side, Stays in the block. Now he slides out. McElroy can't get him in time. And out is the running back as they continue to alternate backs. Play action. McElroy looking to go deep and can't get it off. Sacked at the 40. Joe Kendall just kind of sitting on Colin Peak, waiting for the play. And then once he realizes that McElroy again doesn't have anybody to. So many great players played for the Bear. Coming up now with Richardson. Fine time. And that is the fifth sack of the night of McElroy. Kendall rolls in. Tampa thinking the same thing. He comes off play action. And there's Sergio Kendall again. This defense is playing well. And Kendall is having a great game. That time he read it perfectly. And with his acceleration. Half, just three against this Longhorn D. Richardson continues to play, and he picks up a first. Coming again. Ingram again. Cut off trying to run to the left that time. 